My name is Sarah, and I would like to share our story, the story of my husband Mark and me. We had a beautiful wedding a year ago, surrounded by our closest friends and family. Our love felt invincible, like nothing could ever come between us. But life has a way of throwing unexpected challenges our way. Just one year after our wedding, Mark lost his job. It was a hard blow for both of us. He worked tirelessly to find a new job, sending out countless resumes, going on interviews, and networking with old colleagues. But the job market was tough, and the months went by without success. We had some tough decisions to make. With our savings dwindling and bills piling up, we had no choice but to move in with my mom. Fortunately, she had a spacious house and welcomed us with open arms. It was humbling, and at times our pride took a hit, but we knew it was a temporary situation. Living in my mother's house was a mixed bag. On the one hand, it was comforting to be around family during this difficult time. My mom was supportive and caring, always encouraging us to keep our heads up. On the other hand, it was an adjustment, especially for Mark, who was used to being the provider. One day I got home earlier than usual. As I walked into the house, I said, Hi, I'm here. There was silence. I thought Mark had probably gone to another job interview. As I walked past my mother's bedroom, I heard some pretty loud screaming. She was moaning loudly and asking for more. She said, Don't stop my stud. There was occasional spanking. In short, it sounded like the best adult movies. I thought my mother was a hot vixen who had brought a passionate wolf into her bedroom. Grinning, I walked out into the hall. I made coffee and watched TV. At some point, I saw Mark come out of the bedroom, followed by my mom. I realized who the wolf was. I made a wild racket. While I'm working, you're having fun behind my back. How could you do this to me? I asked my mother. She apologized and said it was an accident. Mark didn't understand what the problem was. He didn't even consider it cheating. He said, Sarah, what's the problem? It's your mom and we were having a little fun with her. I was shocked at that answer. I packed my bags and left the same day. After I calmed down, I filed for divorce a week later. As far as I know, my mother is still living with my husband. He never got a job. 